welcome to academica so this video describes the uh, product demonstration of our uh, antenna measurement system this antenna measurement system is designed over a frequency band of 100 megahertz to 3 gigahertz so this wide band source with is pll synthesized and uh, because of this wideband uh, frequency, we are able to cover the complete spectrum of uh, antennas covering the wired antenna, the microstrip antenna, the aperture antenna and the horn antenna. Uh, and the uh, uh, this is the RF output you see here and we have the RF detector. This is the uh, graphical LCD uh, display. This is the membrane keypad through which you can control the system. You have a stepper motor uh, controller. The rear side of the system has a USB interface which connects to the PC. You have a very user-friendly GUI to plot the radiation pattern of the antenna and uh, do various measurements. So we will start with the operation. We press the menu key. So we have two options coming here, the PC control as well as the panel control. So I can select one of them, panel control. So the one more added feature here in our system is we have an inbuilt manual onto the uh, system. So you see the experiment, far field pattern, proof of theory and a user defined experiment. So here the third option you can program the source to a specific frequency of your choice and connect the antenna that you have the user has designed to test and get the radiation pattern so now I press 1 enter for far field pattern experiment you have second option coming up whether you want to do go for a copolarization cross polarization or you want to measure the gain directivity so I will select copolarization. It is asking for select the antenna type. I will go for the wired antenna. So it is asking for the type of antenna you So I have connected a, a Yagi Phi element. So the experiment starts here. So it is asking us to mount the transmitter and receiver antenna. We have to ensure that the length of the dipole at the transmitting size side is 9.4 centimeter so that it is transmitting. So I have set the frequency, uh, the length of the antenna, length of the antenna to 9.4 centimeter. Okay, confirm. So we have a transmitter dipole. We have the receiver Yagi Phi element. The dipole length is 9.4 centimeter. The transmitter frequency corresponds to 716 megahertz. So that is the center frequency for which we have designed the Yagi antenna. Select the receiver antenna to 0 degree and press start enter key to start the experiment. So I have set this to 0 degree. The radius, the antenna measurement turntable. I have set it to 0 degree and I will start the experiment. Now you see 
the antenna rotating this antenna rotates with degree of 5.4 degrees the antenna has completed 360 degree rotation and it goes anti-clockwise to its home position now if you see the controller it is telling us upload data to the computer so if I am pressing enter it uploads the data and it is asking us whether the software is running so we have to ensure that the software is open and in the running mode I confirm by pressing enter now we are just zooming in onto the software the radiation pattern is getting plotted now if you see the experiments far field pattern co-polarization the type of antenna wire and the name of the antenna uh, received antenna for which we were doing the experiment five element Yagi is appearing on the computer screen all the data that was recorded angle and the power is also getting displayed this can be exported to an excel sheet the radiation pattern also can be uh, saved and a print of this pattern can be plotted now let us go towards the software if I am looking at the plot, we have got two options here, the polar plot and we have the Cartesian graph. So This is the Cartesian uh, plot for the Yagi. You have the cursor here, the P max and you have the cursor here P1, two markers P1 and we have P2. P2. So you see these cursors corresponding angle and power is being displayed when you change these markers. We have a measurement option here which will ensure that you get all the formulas and its measurement values correct. Let us go to the gain to find out the gain. The gain of the antenna that we have plotted comes to 3.5 dB the directivity of the antenna is 12.3 dB we have the BWFN bandwidth first null 129.6 degrees the 